Hello everybody, welcome to the Chalice semi-final. We've got Kfog with blue Dark Elves up against Diomed with red Necromantic. Diomed is 1640 TV, Kfog is 1700, so um, Diomed gets a Bloodwiser keg, which isn't too good, is it? Um, interesting matchup, Necro versus Dark Elves. Lots of skills, obviously not the usual, uh, usual game of Blood Bowl, loads and loads of skills. Juggernaut, Witch Elf there for Surfs, and maybe one turns, except he doesn't get any movement ups, so he's not really got much chance of a one turn here. Big Kev, he does have Sneaky Get Dirty player, of course, the best player in the game. And Diomed has one as well. Has this Rookie Ghoul, right? I assume he had like a block sure hand sidestep that died, and that's why he's 1640, right? I imagine this was block sidestep sure hands, and then it died. Um, it's the only thing that makes sense to me. It's really weird that he hasn't got like a decent carrier, and you know, bunch of guard, not quite light pa hitting power, right? He's got he's got one mighty blow wolf, and then like no mighty blow on the on the fleshies or wraith. So this is probably going to be a bit of a struggle for him. He's not reliably going to remove players, and uh, versus eleven elves, you're in trouble. Yeah, I love AV. I absolutely love AV. I mean, for 10k, it's incredible. Incredible. So, yeah, here we go. And obviously, of course, two of the top, 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 top players. Diamed and Kfog. Diamed may be the best player in Blood Bowl 3 right now. And uh, Kfog, you know. The most universal top player you can say because he's done it in Blood Bowl 2, Blood Bowl 3 from the land tabletop. Which nobody else really has. I'm missing tabletop and Davo's missing fumble. And then you know other people are missing bits and bobs as well. Vicious ref, it's a stunned wraith. Well, getting a wraith stunned really sucks, but at least it's not sent off. So, you won't feel too bad about that, I guess. Thanks, machine, I think. Full pow, outrageous. I mean, these skills blocks can remove though, can't they? So very easily. Maybe he should have put the guards on the outside, so they could have pushed in to get his uh, wolf hits versus sidestep. Currently, if he blocks him, he'll he'll put he'll get pushed to there. So he needs to bring in another zombie either there or there. Gets a full power. Claw mighty. On your stun. Could fleshy blitz here, couldn't he then get a one assist foul? It's not that good, but that's what that's the great thing about sneaky DP, isn't it? Even the uh, one assist fouls are good. And you can protect him with the uh, Wraith over there. Mm. 
Nope, so he's not family. Well, probably not family. Maybe he is actually, maybe he's not too scared about the ghoul getting punched. He has got blood at the end of the day. It's pretty great that not only is he like the best foul in the game, he's also a bludger. So he might not bother with this foul, he's only one assist. No, he is doing it. If you're doing that, I like protecting him. But, I mean, yeah, it can only get one deed, can't it? It can only get one deed from the rear, and it is a bludger. But, uh, and he's not going for him, he's going for the flits through. Split the team in half. Narrow field from Diamed. I mean, that was the other good thing about putting the wraith over here, wasn't it? To be fair. It was also just protecting that flank. Needs a lot more around here to show this up around this side, I think, and then... Could look pretty good, though. Yes, the two-minute visual, it, yeah, it's 7.30 still. It, I, it, I don't know when or why it happens, but often the, uh, the 7.30 displaces two. Until they use you know, any of the time bank, which might take a while for KFOG. He does play very fast. I don't believe it. Though he might go into the, he might go straight into it. The first turn here, right? eighteen seconds left. He might go into time bank. This is pretty nice, actually. You've got quite a lot around there. That makes it pretty difficult, doesn't it? Didn't like the basing here. Honestly, I like him not being based. Because you can kind of free roll the power him now, can't you? If you do power him, then you found a way out. But, um, yeah, pretty brutal team split. Hello, oh, Swalax. Yep, this is the, the semi finals of the uh, chalice, like the playoffs of the ladder. Two of the best players in the game. Glorious. Diamond is in a lot of a pickle. He's in a massive diabolical pickle. It's funny that that my way to get a better foul would have actually defended against this a bit. But, um, yeah, this is tricky. How far can you just move? Three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. So yeah, I guess the play is double GFI and blitz this one. That is the play, isn't it? Actually quite an easy solution, ultimately. Ultimately, it's it's easy because it's the only one. <laughs> oh, he's a, he's a wolf, it's only one GFI. Didn't even, I think he should have the GFI ones, but then, you know, you can say that and then uh, you might uh, roll the double one, so. Yeah, I agree. It was like the only thing he could do, right? It was like, it was like literally the only play he had, so it became quite obvious what it was. If this had been locked down tighter, then the only play was probably trying to pout him and then coming up this way. I mean, great's pushing it, but yeah, not it, well, yeah, it's not it's it's all right, isn't it?
he won't feel very sad about it. The Dells can't, like, it's only turn two, right? So the Dells can get back on side, so... Yeah, I thought he was going to go in there. Oh, there's his one. Oh my god, he double GFI'd, stacked them. That's interesting, isn't it? He probably shouldn't have stacked them. I should not have done that, he says in his Robbie Coltrane voice. No, he's just trying to protect the ball, eh? Which I don't think K Fog's even going to go for, so. Yeah, already two minutes into his time bank here for uh, Diamond. Wow. All right, yeah, okay, I see what you mean. I mean, it's better to have a side stepper there, isn't it? But yeah. I mean, of course he was going to foul. But yeah, double GFR is a long. That was a lot of rolls. We shouldn't have stacked. I stack a lot more than I ever did now. There's obviously multiple rerolls. Means you think, well, I can use two rerolls on this, but then you end up you you know using the reroll the first one. You think, oh, I wish I hadn't stuck now. Oh, does Big Kev eat this? He does not eat this. Sucking off your own rear must have had a rib removed. Oh, he's okay with that guy getting surfed. Interesting. It's not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? It's turn three, I guess. I guess Kevo didn't see him, right? He's looking like this and he just probably lost him in the in the crowd. Or maybe he thinks he could get like a witch counter surf. Well, that's pretty that's gonna what? You could actually like block this way, right? And then into him, and then there, and then uh, do it that way. Block there, sidestep to here. And then he can block into there. Well, probably wants to 3D it as well, right? It's only one more assist. Yeah, but he has, he's got to get them free. He could blitz to get them free. Yeah, he just does a 2D. That's the problem. If you only make it a 2D, you're more likely to pile, aren't you? Might just remove him anyway. Annoying because 
you know, if this guy can block him, but then if he pushes him, he's... Uh, I guess he's only on there. you probably got to push him there and then use the wolf to, to cage, right? I guess you could blitz with the wolf. The wolf could just blitz. And then he can punch him at the end. He's got strips. You don't want to leave the uphill on. Pushes him out there. So who's he blitzing? So that gives him the 2D there and the 2D there. Maybe he doesn't take this 2D, right? Because of it sidestepping there and making it easier to hit the ball. Right. No, it's visual bug, um, JD Whitey. It's uh, still, still 7.30 for Big Kev. Big Kev, this is uh, spicy, isn't it? You can chain out the wolf. I think he probably will, and then hit him, and then get the ball, and then win. If I was a gambling man, that's what I'd say is about to happen right now. I guess it's not easy to do that, is it, actually? I thought that, but it's it takes, like two players here to because he's not just the one right it takes two players here because of him and if you do push him out then you don't really have this guy ready to do anything you got two here but this guy's trapped isn't he this guy's in a great spot It turned out he didn't need to protect the ball that time. Himself right in the middle there. Oh no, he hasn't got sidestep. <laughs> it's so weird them not both having sidestep. I was like, what a weird sidestep. No, it's, he hasn't got sidestep. Don't worry. Errata, errata. Really sucks that he can't hit the sidesteppers, doesn't it? There's a few of them. I guess you can kind of like fleshy blitz to get a wolf block.
let me. I guess he's blitting the blitter. Shouldn't you have done that first? Wow, Hancock. Oh, is that Elliot? <laughs> Thought you were being mean to me for a second. Do you mean, do you mean uh, Elliot? <laughs> Surely you mean Elliot. So, um... Yeah, Diamond's really good. He's been playing really well as well, hasn't he, recently? On Blood Bowl 3, it's, you know, it's got to be between, like, Diamond, Devo, and Seabros, right? Well, and me, I guess. I did win Super League. Just quietly. Then I decided to let her give everyone else a chance the next two seasons. Nice guy, Jim. Give him a chance. This is uh, very dangerous for Diamond. Very dangerous. There's the thing that happened, right? He hasn't really removed anyone. One KO. So all of a sudden everything's in contact and with some dice rolls bad things will happen to uh time it. Yeah, this is a lot, four minutes. Four minutes and four turns, that's not sustainable for the length of the match. He's got all his guard in, hasn't he, which is making things harder. <sighs> it's funny that the knobs all got each other. In the, uh, in the World Cup. Three knobs in one group and two knobs in another. Full pal. You'll do nothing. So, you know. Big Kev was like, had loads of people on the board, just wasn't able to do anything because of no guard. Against four guard. Even these only four guard are doing a lot of work, aren't they? Hmm. 
The problem with it that Diamond's got here is he's just thinking too much. <laughs> Using, it's killing him on the time bank. Well, like I understand there's a lot of things to think about. He's not, he's not removing Dell. He's up against Big Kev. But I feel like he could have played a bit more. Um, you know, autopilot. Conserve the time bank. Now he's now he's got like switch gears mid game versus big cav. Yeah, big problem if it goes to OT. Bangs the sneaky get DP. You love to see it. Doesn't do anything to him though, it doesn't actually do anything. We're in a bonus time burning. Already used four minutes of it. Goals. Diamond down to one reroll. Big Kev down to one reroll. Well, this is, uh, whew. Flip me. So yes, easy dice on the ball by chaining. Um, maybe other options as well. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, Diamond killing his time bank here. K Fox used a minute, but uh, Diamond's used nearly five. In danger of getting timed out and me falling asleep if he keeps up at this rate. But oh he blitzed the he blitzed that. Oh do I not like that. Do I not like that? I really hate blitzing the goo. That's uh, the race. That's something that I've learned. Do not fucking blitz those guys. Holy shit. Yeah, exactly, PC. Yeah, that's, that really is wild. Big Kev dipping into his time back. Yeah, like blitzing foul appearance, like rolling a one on a foul appearance blitz is so ridiculously appalling that I think probably should stop you blitzing foul appearance altogether but then they're just armor eight right like or armor nine plus so then if you can foul if you can blitz the wraiths then you can just cast them you know quite easily and it's it's game changing isn't it so it's a tough one it is actually a tough one to wraith or not to wraith here we go wolf Fine. Right, now he can actually... Well, the problem is if he goes forward, he's leaving... Well, he can dodge out with his sneaky git, can't he? But he's leaving, like, three players behind if he pushes forward. It is turn six. So he probably hasn't got much choice. And he can't really do anything other than try to roll pals. So, yeah, Diamond's still in a pickle here. In a bit of a pickle. Does not get the 
PayPal. Probably go right. Uh, maybe maybe you go left actually. Keep the wide screen. I guess it was right to start with this one. Might try to go past the screen now. Like the fact that he's gone there. Maybe he'll try and just move up and hope for the best. I wouldn't hate it. Like it, I don't think it's good, but I wouldn't hate it because uh, he hasn't really got good options, has he? No, I don't think he wants the potato. No, I think he wanted a pow and then pow and then get a few up. But. Side steps are so good, so Big Kev's got his three side steps. Oh, he's got five side steps, but he's got three of the five. And just standing in the way is good enough, isn't it? Most of the time. Didn't even get a bloody pow. Diced again. What a terrible turn and die, my day. Three blocks, no pals. Four blocks, no pals. <laughs> this ain't gonna cut it versus Big Kev. Has to dodge out this ghoul, doesn't he? Basically has to work. Might have to, oh, it doesn't. What a shit turn. Four blocks, four pushes, and then a failed one in nine dodge. Wow. So he's got an instant, near instant 2D tackle blitz on the wolf. Big Kev's block, instant ghoul removal. Like this guy dodge off, isn't it? Which isn't great, but he could dodge somebody else off for the assist, which he has done. And this guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, oh he double wand! He double wand! Oh my goodness. Well, the Diamond escapes one there. That's freed up his three central players to create a bit of a screen for the wolf. The wolf that can escape to victory. It's quad ones. I mean, come on, let's not art miss this. It's literally better to quad one because it means you don't get killed. <laughs> but yes, technically quad ones. Hello, Inari. Oh, Chrissy V. Big Kev is lucky. I mean, the, the quad part of it is luckier than just dumb scores, isn't it? Is he going to blitz the sidestepper? Blitzing the sidestepper makes sense after putting the wraith there, right? Because now he can blitz it, and then from like here, and he can only sidestep to one of these three squares, and then he could have, he could have blocked as well. Oh, no, I guess if he blitzes him, he could have just blocked with this guy here. He could have just blocked with this guy right now, and then he could have blitzed his way out with a wolf, and uh, 
also so the wraith could have moved freely. Rolling in lots of ones is a terrible idea, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where k has picked up this strategy from, but it's, it's poor. Tonight, I very much enjoyed somebody on Reddit, you know, about six months ago. I was just saying that I like, well, the good players obviously roll better dice than the bad players. So how can I improve my dice rolling technique? <laughs> Pretty great. Yeah, Dime had two minutes left. He's got to start playing faster. Yeah, he is. He is indeed a very super low on time. That's all in the wrist. Kind of mad that KFO's kind of been so on top most of this drive and then has nothing to show for it. Except like time bank usage. I guess the other way to look at it is Diamond's been put under constant pressure and has managed to, uh, managed to survive. Yeah, true, true. The snakes really helped. He did get 2D on the ball, didn't he? Dreadful. Is it a 3 plus to score? Maybe not, right? You can, um, can maybe free, free up something somehow to get a blitz. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so you can put in these two here and here. And then the oh wait, can you reach? This one, two, three, four, five, six. He could have um he could, like this sidestep, right? If he hadn't powered him, that was actually stopping the, the blitz through. So that was a bit bit lazy from Diamond, not 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 great, right? It would have been a tiny bit better to have done it properly. Um, which would have been Wraith. One to the left. Oh my god, he kills him. Apple only 37.5% to work. Does not work. So not a dreadful 3 plus to score. 
a killer blitz at the score. <laughs> well, that was pretty sloppy, actually, from Diamond, right? He didn't. He he could have moved the ghoul in, and the wraith to guarantee clearing the wolf, and he did not do that. If he'd rolled a push, that blitz wouldn't have happened, and he wouldn't have killed the dark elf. So, it's good to know, that, you know, Diamond can make mistakes too. But he survived the uh, survived the offense. Now he's got his uh, his defense to go. Ooh. <sighs> it's looking tougher for K Fog now, isn't it? With the uh, the dead guy, no one turn. What do you mean by thingy? Um, you know what I mean? The draw has been made, the groups have been decided, and then the admins will add the players' teams to the groups. And then I'll probably do like a look at the teams thing. Yes, it is a little bit too late to qualify, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting on Sunday <laughs> and people have had like you know eight eight or nine months to qualify yeah a little bit late to qualify funnily enough actually the top three from the from the season two finals are all there right Strider, Diamond, and Coltrip for all in. And then the other three. Was it Chunter, Inarian, and Art? Aren't in. Thanks, Dimmy. It could be all three. It really could be all three. Funny if I'd taken Lizards, it would have been a 3 0 0. <laughs> I'd have dominated the group if it was Lizards. And instead. I could easily go zero zero three and out. Sad. Well, if only you told me after I'd picked Dark Elves, didn't you? If he hadn't, if he told me, I said, like, if only he told me before I picked the Dark Elves, that might have helped. No, I shouldn't do my choice. Chunt was in there, no. No, Chunt was in there. He won Chalice, like, you know, in Blood Bowl 2, not in Blood Bowl 3. Yeah, absolutely terrible, Dimmy. <laughs> it's hilarious that two knobs are in one group and three knobs are in a different group, isn't it? We've got some mad knobbing. <laughs> I 
flipping knobs. <laughs> yeah, lizards are also qualified, actually. There's three lizards in with a Skaven. So, so at least one lizard is guaranteed. And uh, one knob is also guaranteed. There's one Black Orc team. It's Mr. Page. He's got the funniest team as well. He just took six mighty blow for the Black Orcs. Block for the Troll and Sneaky Git for one of the Goblins. It's like, I think it's the best roster actually. Fuck trying to play properly with Block and Guard. Just go all mighty blow and bang. Bang, bang, bang. It's absolutely incredible. I think, I think it's genuinely the best. I think it's genuinely the best build they can make because, you know, they don't they don't pl play properly, do they? So, you know, if you're going to take them, at least use something you can use, which is banging like a lunatic. How many woodies? Some. Some in Aryan. I, I there was a there was a J Leave did a thing. It's not very pretty. But it's a thing. I'll put it in my Discord. I've got a Discord, by the way, guys. If you don't know. If you don't know the Team Fantastic Discord. There it is. And I can tell you, there are seven wood elves they got a generous package i resisted all temptation to make a joke about a generous package by the way when, when tree mentioned it in the, in the official stream <laughs> i don't know how i managed to not say anything but i did Glorious Renegades. Twelve undead, yeah. The funniest thing about the knobs is they're in two groups. One's got three knobs and the other's got two. So one knob is guaranteed to make the second round. It's almost guaranteed only one knob will. Woody's got a generous package. Interestingly, the uh, the good the good players decided to go with Wood Elves and Necromen. Strider, Olivia Delac, and K Fog all Woodies. Diamed, Bright, and Devo all Necro. So there's six, maybe like maybe the six best players went um, Wood Elves and Necro. Interesting. Yeah, no, I think it's the right move for Moomin Slayer. Yep. Oh, blunt to ash. Yeah, no, I, I fully agree. I think it's a good, a good, good, good plan. Plus, it's like it's funny and it's entertaining for the stream, isn't it? I think it's the right play. Oh, I should have done. I was sedated with it being the uh, with it being the near stream. Nearly did the two and the one. He he would have he would have surfed him, wouldn't he? He was up for that. That's fair enough, right? Like surfing the uh, sneaky get dirty player is very good. And we're doing the standard kind of thing, right? Like mirroring where the other team is. 
getting a bit pushed up on the sideline here is a uh, big Kev he's in a bit of a pickle isn't he it is a shit oh my god that was all starting with a 1D Artemis about to lose his shit with that Jesus was that a just misclick or misread by Fog, that seems very weird. A very weird player. Yeah, zero dwarf. Dwarves had a sh had a tiny had a shit package, and uh, and also I would have expected a uh, fair amount of lizards. So yeah, really bad for really really bad for dwarves. Big Kev makes loads of mistakes in our game. He is mistake ridden um, on Blood Bowl three absolutely mistake ridden one of the highest mistake makers there is yeah yeah actual high mistake maker big cat Well, PC, you say that. I don't think it's that. I mean, yeah, maybe one, right? If Hiru had qualified, maybe he would have taken them. But then last time, even he took Necro. So, you know, even the biggest war fan didn't take them in Super League last time. So, um, I think everyone's okay with making dwarves untakeable, aren't they? Because everyone fucking hates dwarves as a rule. Yep, yeah, I mean, I, I like the Dark Elves, honestly. People tell me that Dark Elves are good against Wood Elves. I don't really understand why. But, um, you know, if they are, that's good, isn't it? I expected... I expected the best players to take Wood Elves and Necro. And then Seabros beat all three Necros with Dark Elves. So I thought, well, that's that must be all right, mustn't it? And then people tell me that Dark Elves are good against Woodies. So I thought, all right, then. Yeah, certain teams are better against certain teams, yep. No vamps and no zones, very good. Cheer good. Cheer good. I don't think he'll take those. I mean, he could do a one on the ball, couldn't he? I mean, he, he, I guess he will do a one on the ball. Um, but, like, not really particularly try for it. I'd like do it from the chain, right? But then he hasn't he hasn't done the blitz there, so interesting. Interesting. You would have thought he'd have blitzed this guy, right? And chained him in and then just on a one D. In fact, if he powered him and chains him in, then he can two D him, and then if he powers him, then it's a uh, then it's a two D on the ball. When did you tell me to play lizards? I don't remember you telling me to play lizards. I remember saying to you, oh fuck, I should have played lizards. I don't remember you saying me, telling me to do this before I actually chose them. Before I chose Dark Elves, I decided Dark Elves, even though I did shit with me. And then, of course, I did. I went 5 0 on with Lizards, didn't I, on that NAF qualifier thing? It's a full pal. Probably should have put this guy central first, right? As a safety. Maybe not though, maybe he's gonna move him up or something. Foul this uh, witch elf, obviously. Or near stone. And it was there. I am here. No, the teams aren't pretty balanced. Um, no, no. Wouldn't do Ash. No, the the teams are wildly unbalanced. Um, I don't know how much you know about the game, but 
Blood Bowl, uh, like made by Games Workshop, you know, adapted by Cyanide. And Games Workshop have never really been one for balance. And further than that, Blood Bowl is delib allegedly deliberately unbalanced. So, yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, they're not. They're not even vaguely. Not even vaguely balanced. <laughs> Is it made by Games Workshop? Really? I mean, it was, wasn't it? No. It was. Yeah. I'm gonna pass it. Is he just gonna score now? Or can he run away? I like keeping one of the walls back. This one that he put up here, I like keeping back. Because now he can stand in the corner, right? And uh, get a turn of stall. Oh, he doesn't, though. He does the GFI. Kind of hate the GFI there as well, because he could have just stood. Oh, range, interesting. So Burns a reroll. Burns a reroll, does big Kev. And now he's got one reroll versus an, a six turn drive from Diomed. And Diomed has a bribe so he can foul every single turn. And he's got three rerolls to one, six turns. He's got limited time in his time bank and he used a lot of it on his own drive versus K4 last time. And he's got a man advantage as well. This is looking very bad for Big Kev. I mean, was it punter? He could have just dodged away, right? And stopped it. Unfortunately, there's no, uh, like, replay and stuff on the live game, so you can't just... Go back a turn and see if it was like you could in Blood Bowl 2. Yeah, but I mean, the turn wasn't over, was it? So, like, <laughs> I didn't see if he was activated or not. We can't go back in time. I wonder if he could have gotten a square forward the previous turn, right? Maybe. Ah, but then he had to do it. It, it passed with two anyway. So. Okay, cheering fans. That was a draw, so neither, neither gets anything. But yeah. Does Diamond reroll the pickup here? Probably, right? It's pretty deep. He wants the ball in hand. He knows he's driving to win the game here, so. He probably wants it. I think he'll, you know, he'll be quite happy to expend all three rerolls to score this drive. Well, obviously we're the number one, but you know what I mean, like trying to score. <laughs> I think you'll be happy to expend his rules attempting to score. Which could leave him in trouble in overtime, to be fair. But this is a golden opportunity to win. A big old foul win. Yeah. 
This is going to leave them a bit weak on this side, right? You can just double push the mummy. I'm not the mummy, the fleshy. Okay, Fog might go for this fleshy blitz and then pile everyone through. Be interesting. Super interesting. Looks like he is going to. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. That was a bad decision, wasn't it? Roller one there. Um. <laughs> Guess he was gonna put it there. Wait, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I guess he was gonna go there and then blitz with a wrestle. I don't think Dime will time out now, honestly. I think, uh, I think he'll just get the job done. And it's still tough, right? It's still tough. K-Fog will still try his hardest and do things, but... I think the difference maker is the, is the fouls this drive. Should make everything a bit easier to uh, keep together turn-wise. down claw maybe it was a bit rowdy wasn't it because he was pushing him into the uh, into getting his wolf based and it's a stun so he gets to foul him next turn as well kills him I wouldn't hate just uh, keeping the wraith in the in the cage now, right? To stop a witch elf cage dive. Nonsense. Isn't terrible. Like it's not good. But it's not terrible. Hello, Steve. Like I don't know what K Fog's route to victory is now. Diamed's computer crashes, overheats. This is a GFI to punch and a GFI to uphill as well. Yikes. Stuns herself. Gonna try to uh, foul the sneaky kit turkey player, or just try and pick, blitz this rookie, and then uh, cage around him and pick him off. That's probably the safer, isn't it? Just go for this guy. I 
actually wouldn't have hated uh, blitz. You know, after he put that in, this fleshy could have blitzed him, and then he could have uh, sidestepped to there, and then he could have hit with a wolf and stuff as well. But yeah, I think I figured this would be the play with Peter Blitzen go up here. No, he's not going up though. Interesting. I'd have definitely gone up here. Turn thirteen, I'd have been very happy about moving up the pitch. Really happy. As happy as PC. Which he's pretty happy about getting forward. This is fine, I like good. Gets him. Just quietly made two removals on files. <laughs> Skull. Drive over, has to reroll. Mm. Well, I would have gone forward last turn. But now Diamond gets the absolutely free progression with the whole team. So, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Whole team through. Really nice. Can like H cage it as well. All sorts. The full power. It's a two and a two, of course, with the guard of the fleshy there, so either either square was no good. So nice to be able to set that blitz up. Then he gets to blitz the uh blit he gets to block the blitzer now. And uh if he clears him, gets to foul a sneaky get dirty player. I mean, get to farm anyway, but like three assist foul is really good, isn't it? He's not even trying. One for one assist. Oh, the zero assist. Uses the bribe, fails, sent off. Flip me. But um, it's still looking very, very good. For Diamond. Big Kev is just going to throw random players at the cage. Nothing else he can do. Okay, Fox spending a bit of time now. Oh, what's this to me? Bowser's wamps. Are you okay?
Hello, Jayleave. I mean, Bazard doing well with the team doesn't prove they're OP, Dimmy. Turn. A chaff saw P as well, to me. Still on twelve two one. I don't know if you attack or not then, to be honest. They weren't OP though, even if they had to. What do you think of your group of death, Jerry? Not that there's really a group of life for all to put you in. <laughs> but still. Juggernaut might make a difference. But he's only got movement 7, so... It's a bit rubbish. I don't understand what the play is. Was he just, he was just playing for Riot, wasn't he? he uh, timeout. He was just playing for timeout. Yeah, it, movement 7 is not going to get Juggernaut in anywhere. Yeah. So there you go. Um, no, Juggernaut made no no difference because he's only moved seven. It seems a waste, honestly, for Kfog to be playing a team that can't one turn when, like, you're the best one turner in the world. Feels like you should be playing a team that can one turn, but I mean, this is just Chalice, right? So he was just trying to top ladder and stuff, didn't mean he. You know, I'm sure he wasn't optimizing for his highest chance of winning Chalice by taking Dark Elves. Um, but there you go. Congratulations, Diamond. His beloved Necro get the win. And uh, commiserations, Big Kev. I was tricked by Seabros thinking that Dark Elves were good against Necro. No, it's a bit different, like res and progression, right? Like the big skilled wolves really help and stuff. And fouling being more of a thing. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.